Driscoll Hickman was born around 1778 in the King and Queen County, Virginia. His father, Reverend William Hickman, was a well-known Baptist preacher. His mother was Elizabeth Shackelford. There's not much known about his youth. He joined the military in 1794 and fought with General Anthony Wayne at the Battle of the Fallen Timbers. Hickman married Elizabeth Hall in 1797 and lived in Frankfurt, and they had three children. Throughout his life, he owned about 6,000 acres in 16 counties and was a successful businessman and farmer. He was the jailer of Franklin County for some years. In 1802, he was with the 22nd Regiment of the Kentucky Militia and was promoted to lieutenant the following year. The War of 1812 began and Hickman joined the fight. He raised a group of men to join John Allen and served as the captain. He marched north and served under General James Winchester during the Battle of River Raisin in 1813. He was wounded in the first skirmish in Frenchtown. Hickman was taken to a nearby house where his legs were amputated. However, in the coming days, the American forces were overtaken by the British and Native Americans, forcing the Americans to retreat and leave their wounded. Hickman and 65 soldiers were massacred the next day. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Pascal Hickman. He was a husband, father, soldier, businessman, and farmer who settled in Frankfort, Kentucky. He is also one of many Kentuckians who died in the Battle of River Raisin. Nine counties in Kentucky were named after these fallen soldiers. One of them is Hickman County, the 71st county of Kentucky, and it is named after Pascal Hickman. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.